This is question 58 of civil engineering paper of K 2022 afternoon session. Two discrete spherical particles P and Q of equal mass density are independently released in water. Particle P and particle Q have diameters of 0.5 mm and 1 mm respectively. Assumes a Stokes law is valid, the drag force on particle Q will be blank times the drag force on particle P. So, in this question, two discrete spherical particles P and Q of equal mass density are independently released in water. That is, fluid is same for both the particles in which both the particles are released and that is water. Now, the diameters of particle P and Q are given as 0.5 mm and 1 mm respectively. Now, considering a Stokes law, we need to comment on the uh, relation between the drag force on particle Q and drag force on particle P. So, uh, for solving this question, we need to know about the uh, Stokes law and the drag force. So, for um, uh, to study the Stokes law and its derivation, you may watch lecture 37, Drag and Lift Fluid Mechanics by Professor Subhasis Datta at Guwahati. But now, just uh, let us recall the Stokes law. So, from a Stokes law, we have the relation drag uh, between the drag force and the diameter of um, a particle which are moving in a uh, viscous fluid. So, from these two equations, we can conclude if the fluid is same and the uh, mass density of the uh, particle are same then we can write the drag force on the particle is directly proportional to its diam uh, its cube of diameter. So, from these two equation we can conclude this relation. So, now for this question we can write the drag force on Q divided by drag force on P is equal to diameter of Q to the power 3 divided by diameter of p to the power 3. Since uh, we have just uh, saw the drag force is directly proportional to cube of its diameter. So, now from here we can write the drag force on q by drag force on p is equal to diameter of q is given 1 mm. So, 1 cube divided by diameter of par, uh, particle P is given 0.5 mm. So, 0.5 Q. So, from here we can write the drag force on Q is equal to. So, we, when we solve it 1 by 0.5 Q will be 8. So, 8 into uh, drag force on particle P. So, from here we got the drag force on particle Q is equal to 8 times to that of particle P. So, the drag force on particle Q will be 8 times the drag force on particle P. So, 8 is the correct answer for this question. Thank you.